you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jeanette Fryer I am the owner and maker of Jabelle Chic so for today's video I am excited to bring you a new tumbler design I did post a replica of a design that I did with my name on it of a leopard print peekaboo kind of ombre kind of thing going on um so there were some questions if I would do a tutorial to kind of recreate that design. If you guys would like to see me recreate that particular tumbler that I posted with my name on it, please leave that in the comments below and I would gladly recreate that same tumbler. But for today, we are going to create a kind of, as you saw from the thumbnail, it's going to be a kind of pink and gold ombre kind of thing going on with a really fun decal. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Once again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and please don't forget to click that like and notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future content. Also, in the description below, you will find the link to my newly created Facebook group where we share ideas and just collaborate as a group on Tumblr makers, Tumblr making and other crafts as well. So, I have lit a candle. I am ready to go. I feel so relaxed. So if you guys kind of do the same thing, let me know in the comments below. I just get so inspired when I come into my craft room and it's really clean and you know, I light a candle and I just get so motivated and just full of inspiration. So that is enough for me. So without his further hesitation, let's get into the video. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, I am starting with a fully prepped and sanded tumbler. This is a 30 ounce stubby from Craft Haven and I have sanded it, cleaned it and went ahead and did a metallic gold and pink ombre at the bottom, just using some regular Rust-Oleum spray paint. All right, so nothing special here. So the glitters that we're going to be using are like a chunky I think this is like almost like a medium chunky Cleopatra it's a gold by peachy olive glitter and this is a chunky Athena by peachy olive glitter a chunky by feather bear bling it's like a chunky pink and it has some silver highlights in it as well we're gonna be going in with another pink gossip girl by PDB and also another pink by called Pearl Hot Pink by Assassin Crafts. All right, so we're just gonna kind of mix those glitter, glitters together and then get what we want to accomplish. So in order to apply the glitter, I am going to be using the epoxy method for this tumbler. I have went ahead and mixed about 10 mLs of epoxy because since I am layering this glitter, I do want there to be a good kind of coat of epoxy so that my glitter will lay flat. All right, so to start off, I am going to start off with this kind of pearl hot pink color at the bottom. And this is the pearl hot pink by Assassin Crafts. So I'm just gonna apply a generous amount. I'm just gonna kind of let it rip about halfway right here. Okay. It's a very pretty bright pink color. All right, next we're going to go in with I Cleopatra by Peachy Olive Glitters. This is so pretty, y'all. It is I think this has got to be one of my favorite goals to use. As you can see, I did go down to that line almost because we want to start to blend up here a little bit. Since this was since this will be a peekaboo. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want to kind of get that blend going. We're going to go back in with, this is a, this is the Gossip Girl by PDB. And as always, I'm going to be using my extra whole white wing hairspray 
just to get some more coverage on the glitter. So I'm gonna take the hairspray once again and just slant the tumbler, slant it. If you're new to my channel, this is what I use just to get a second coverage and it's really good for blending ombres. So my trash can is over here to the right of me. So I'm just gonna take that off and then just spray this middle area down this way just to get some glue kind of coverage. This acts as a glue. So when I apply that pink over that, I have some coverage. I did misplace my other tea strainer, so I'm just gonna use this one. And I am going to take the tea strainer and just slant the tumbler down and just sprinkle. Other tea strainers because it holds a lot more and I have to keep refilling this one, but hey, we're gonna roll with it. So. it and just blend that middle area into that gold you can see we are already getting a very nice blend going on sprays are very easy to do so don't let it intimidate you it is a very easy process My other tea strainer had much, had much more control, so I wasn't getting glitter everywhere, but I'll find it eventually. I'm just gonna take the remainder glitter and just sprinkle some in the middle just to close up that gap. All right. I'm gonna take Shelby by Feather Brow Bling and this is a chunky, kinda has some silver and highlights in there as well. And we're gonna take this and apply it to the pink area and kinda blending it up into the gold area. So once again, to get that to go on, I'm gonna spray my tumbler with the hairspray. I tilt it and just try to get it, this, just sprinkle on it, if you can see, so. Chunky uh, it is a Chunky by, PD, uh, by Peachy Olive Glitters. And this is just gonna add some dimension to my gold. So once again, to get this Chunky to go on, I'm just gonna spray the top portion of the gold with this white rain hairspray. And I'm just gonna take my fingers and just sprinkle this on. I have a little bit of Gossip Girl by PDB. I'm just gonna take that and just try to just get a little bit more blend going on right here. All right, so in order to apply that, I'm gonna spray my cup with the hairspray as well. Then at a slant and just 
tilting it downward. Alright you guys, I think we are happy with it. I do want to go in with a little bit more of the Athena to blend into the gold just a tad. So we're gonna take the Athena, that's the chunky, and I'm gonna spray my cup down this way, and then we're just gonna get a little bit more of this gold blending into the paint. So with any ombre, you just have to keep applying your glitters until you feel comfortable with it. So as you can see, I'm just gonna tilt my tumbler down. I'm just taking it with my fingers and I'm just sprinkling it just a little bit. Just trying to get just a little bit more blend. You can add two, you can't take away. So that's why you wanna apply, do your ombre in little small, small steps. I'm just barely putting it on. I mean, I'm gonna tilt it this way just to get that blend just to close in. I think that just about does it. So before we wrap this glittering process up, I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and I'm gonna pat down my glitters. So let's remove the tape. Beautiful that ombre is, so pretty. I'm really happy with it. So I am going to let this dry since we did use the epoxy method for about probably overnight. And then I am going to seal it with two times matte clear by Rust-Oleum. And then I'm going to go in with two thin coats of epoxy before we get into the next steps. Well, you guys look at that shine. So I have applied about 20 mLs to this cup and I'm going to apply another 20 mLs for two coats. And then we'll be on to the next steps. So here we are on to our next step. So as you have seen, after, after I applied the glitter, I then placed two coats of epoxy, let that dry. After that, I sanded the top edges and the bottom edges really good, just to make sure everything was nice and smooth. Cleaned the top, the bottom, and the inside with alcohol. And now we are ready to apply our decals for our peekaboo leopard process. So since I am going to be doing a peekaboo, I just went ahead and cut out some regular um, leopard shapes, which I got from Etsy. I will try and link these in the description box below. And sometimes I always get misplaced and that's about where I'm gonna place my decal. So I went ahead and measured my decal in design space. So from there, I'm just gonna place this kind of as a marker. So when we do our leopard spots, I am not placing the spots in the place that I potentially want my future decal to be placed. So let's go ahead and place that. So this is just gonna act as a placeholder for my decal. And I had already mapped out where I wanted my decal to go, so I want it to go about here. All right, so that looks about good. All right, so next we are going to take our, of course this is just a little outline um, if you get what I'm saying, so when I place the leopard spots around it, I'm not placing the spots as to where my decal should be going, okay? So I went ahead and cut out the leopard spots just with some removable vinyl in Design Space. And we're just gonna, I'm just gonna really just place those by, by hand because 
when I try and place them on a carrier sheet, it's just, it just doesn't do what I want it to do. So I am going to speed this up. about two sheets as to what I printed on here but as you can see I did not use all of these on this sheet so when you're doing a peekaboo and if you're doing a outline you want to ensure that you don't place the initial decals for the peekaboo process so close to each other so when you go back in and place your outline you don't have any overlap so as you can see I left plenty of enough space so when I do my outline after I do the painting process, I do not have any overlap with any of these decals. So it's kind of going to make it a little bit easier. So as I can see, I think I probably have this one just a little too close. So I'm just going to move this over just to make sure. And you always just want to double check your decals. Just make sure everything is nice and tight so you don't have any bleeding. So that is what I am going to do. So when we go outside and paint, I am going to be using two colors. So essentially, um, I don't know if you watched my previous posting on Facebook. I posted a video of a leopard print tumbler and it has something like a lilac ombre kind of thing. So this is what we're going to do on this tumbler. I want to do pink at the bottom and then white at the top to kind of do like a kind of ombre kind of feel. So we're going to be using these two colors. Normally I want to use a matte, but I don't have a matte in this color. So this is Rust-Oleum Berry Pink in a gloss. And then of course my favorite matte to use is Rust-Oleum two, um, two Times Paint and Primer by NSA Flat. So we're going to be using that to do a kind of ombre paint portion for the tumbler over the decals in order to create the peekaboo. Alright, so but before we do that, we are going to remove our placeholder for our decal and we're just going to take that off so so everything that does not have any type of label I mean any type of um, leopard spot on it essentially is going to get covered up with paint okay so I'm going to take you guys outside to see me to see how I do the painting process and then we are going to get started. All right, you guys, bear with me. So you want to ensure that you shake your paint thoroughly because with the peekaboo process, you do not want any type of drips because it will show. So we're gonna start with the pink at the bottom and I'm just gonna do light sprays. the white it is still not fully covered you want to just do light sprays because if you do really hard sprays you're gonna have some drips I'm gonna let this dry for a moment and then we're gonna come back and finish it up all right so you guys I have allowed this to dry for a minute so we're gonna continue building our colors with light ombre so I'm going back in with the pink again continue building that color at the bottom you want nice you want a nice even coat you want to make sure that glitter is completely covered all 
right, so now I'm going to go back in with the white. my white to be to be the star of the show and the pink to just be like a blending color as you can see I have paint getting it on my phone so y'all just gonna have to work with me it's windy out here have a nice blend that I am satisfied with so we are going to let this dry for about maybe an hour because I am not good peeling decals off of wet surfaces All right so we I have let this dry for about a couple hours because like I said I don't do good with picking vinyl off of semi tacky surfaces so we are ready to start peeling this up um, I place a piece of parchment tape paper over my little cup cradle just to make sure um, we won't have any issues. So I'm gonna try some new tweezers that I got from CC DIY, and this was just something I saw another maker using on Instagram. So I thought that I would give these a try. So let's give them a try with me. So we are going to start. with pulling these decals up. So, gonna start here. See, I'm already messing up. I am not, I am just not used to using tweezers pulling out vinyl. It doesn't work for me. I am having a hard time, y'all. Let's see. Going with it? Um, which is good. using the other pair. Okay. I think I like this pair better than the other ones. get it going and then use my finger to pull it up so I'm not gonna have you all sit here and watch me pull up this bottle so I am going to speed this up and then we'll be back are done peeling away the decals and now we have revealed our pretty glitter underneath and I just love how the ombre that we created with the gold and the pink and also the painted ombre on top as well. So I am going to seal this with two times matte clear by Rust-Oleum and apply my two coats of thin epoxy before we go into the final decal process and finishing up this tumbler. But I did want to tell you guys that when I'm doing all of my, my peekaboos, I actually like to use this glitter by Bright for the top coat. It just seems to add so much more spark. This glitter by Peachy Olive Glitter is called Bright. 
it just seems to add so much more sparkle to my top coats of my peekaboos and just make it look nice and beautiful so if you have not picked up this glitter please do so I would do a shot of when I have this glitter applied doing my first coat of epoxy over this so you guys can see how that all looks but it is so beautiful it just adds that right amount of sparkle to your tumbler or any type of tumbler when you're doing when you're doing your finishing process so I like to add it in the top layer and then just continue building my layers with regular epoxy no glitter added but it just adds so much sparkle and just makes the whole cup just come alive you guys have got to pick this up once again this is peachy olive glitter called bright it is so beautiful so we'll be back after i apply the two thin coats of epoxy and then we'll be on to the decal process and finishing it up So let's finish up this tumbler. So after we did our peekaboos and removed all of this, we actually went in and applied two thin coats of epoxy. I then cleaned the bottom and the inside because now we are ready for the final decal process. So in order to apply the offset, I actually used and offset feature in design space i am going to show you all how i created that and then we'll be back to the next step so here we are in design space this leopard print pattern that i have here it is from etsy i will try and link the name to the shop where i got this pattern below so you want to ensure that you're over here to the right you want to ensure that everything is ungrouped so when you do your offset everything has an individual offset if you get what i'm saying so in order to create an offset just make sure like i said everything is ungrouped on the right and go up to the top left you're going to see an offset feature now in design space you're going to click on that and once you click on that it's going to take a little time to load as you see it here so now we are going to kind of toggle those buttons to get our offset to to go where we want it to go okay um it kind of takes a little bit playing with it because sometimes it doesn't want to appear okay and you kind of just want to make sure nothing is overlapping. So once you make sure nothing is overlapping, you can go ahead and click apply. And you see that gave us an offset. However, I don't want, you can leave it like this and just use that same feature. But however, um, if you watch my previous videos, I want a thin outline. I don't want a full offset below my pattern. So I'm just going to leave all of this checked and I'm going to go down here. First, I'm going to, I'm going to separate them correction. So I am going to separate them and I am going to. that I unseparated it from let me change this color so you can see what I'm saying so I'm going to change this color to a red so you can see how it works I unseparated it and then I'm going to go back up here I'm going to place it on there again because I had to weld it the bike layer was already welded so once I have that welded I am going to do a slice slices down to the bottom right once I do a slice, it's going to take a minute to load that slice. You see the screen blink there? And once that loads, you can separate that out. And now if you see, I now have my pattern that I can use a thin outline over my original peekaboo patterns that we did with the paint in the previous steps. So this way right here would give me a thin outline instead of that full outline that you see here. 
I think it just adds, I mean, it just makes the tumbler a little bit thicker. I mean, the, the decal a little bit thicker and I don't like that. I kind of like the thin outline that I get when I do the slice feature. So once we get these two patterns, you just cut it out and you start applying your offsets to your created tumbler. All right. As, as you can see from the little clip, so in creating the offset, one thing that I did want to point out is just to make sure that your spots are not touching each other when you create the offset and the slice feature, because if you do that, they will come out like kind of touching each other like these are. However, that was not a problem because I, I actually use my exacto knife and just, you know, slice that apart. So you just want to make sure everything is kind of spaced apart, do your offset, and then do your slice feature, okay? So, the decal that we are going to be using for this tumbler is Stay Humble, Hustle Hard. So, in order to get that, the offset feature, I went ahead and did that off camera. We used the same concept that we used to create the leopard offset. So, it's just the same concept. I went in, I created the offset, I did a slice feature, and they gave me the thin outline instead of giving me a, a all over offset feature like you normally see, okay? All right, so we're going to apply our decal. And as you remember from the previous clips, we actually left some space here. So when we apply our decal, we know exactly where we want that decal to go. Amazing, you guys I am so happy with this all right so now we are ready to apply our leopard spots all right so you guys full disclosure this is going to take a minute because you actually have to go around each shape and kind of figure out where does that go where does this go where does this go and it actually takes a minute so you have to be patient so what I do is just try to find a random shape um, and I pick it up just with a piece of carrier, just, just with a piece of square, um, um, y'all know what I'm trying to say, <laughs> um, carrier sheet. And I just try to find this spot that it goes on. And like I said, it's going to take a minute because you got to kind of, you know, twist your tumbler and figure out which one lines up and it kind of, it takes some patience. So... Like I said, it is going to take some patience. So I just kind of figure out which one is gonna line up. And if, if you haven't placed that one on here initially, you're not gonna find it because you haven't placed that that, that initial one to create the peekaboo. So sometimes I try to make sure that the ones I'm placing is the ones I'm gonna actually end up using. But of course, you know when you're crafting, everything does not end the way that you want it to end. Well, what I, I should say, everything does not turn out the way that you want it to turn out. All right, I cannot find one of those. So I am just gonna set it to the side and find one that does match up. So I'm just gonna kind of scan my sheet and kind of figure out maybe this one matches or something like that. So I just grabbed another one and we have a match. All right, so 
This is gonna match up with this one. Place that there, just making sure that you've covered the inset so when you provide the offset, everything looks nice and flush. All right. All right, so you guys, I am not gonna have you guys sit here and watch me apply this, because like I said, it does take a minute to make sure you get all of these in here in the right places and searching for them on your original um, sheet and then lining them up on here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then we'll be back, then we'll be back for the next step. We are back. Um, as I stated, it did take me about 30 minutes to get to match up all of these spots with the outlines. So that is a very tedious process. So just give yourself patience. What I learned is just, just to cut little squares of the um, carrier sheet. And if you don't find that match, just put it to the side because eventually it would be a process of elimination and then you would get down to what's left and then it would become easier to figure out where those outlines go. All right. So what we're going to do next to add a little bit more interest, um, I went ahead and print out, printed out an additional sheet of decals, outlines, um, and I just made them smaller. And I'm just gonna kind of fill in these areas as to where um, there's no big insets are, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And I just, I don't know, I just like that look. It just adds a little bit more interest to the whole tumbler. So I'm going to speed this up and do that and we'll be back. I have went ahead and applied the other little outlines to the tumbler and I didn't want to make it too busy. Um, I just wanted to just add a little those to add those to the areas as to where it looked a little sparse at. And I just really think it just gave the whole tumbler a little bit more dimension, if you will. So next I am going to, since I have a whole lot of little stuff going on, I am going to make sure I seal this with two times matte clear by Rust-Oleum. And I am going to apply two thin coats of epoxy because we have a whole lot of decals to cover. If it takes me another coat, I would do that as well to finishing this tumbler up. So I think it is looking awesome so far. So you guys stay with me and we'll be back for the finished tumbler. so excited that we are done with this tumbler oh my god it turned out amazing um you guys i am so proud of it it although it was a lot of work and you know with pulling the decals and placing the little um out the outlines on the leopard spots as well it was still very fun to create. So it definitely it definitely would challenge your skills, but like I said before, just get into it with anything, just get into it, find your groove and make it happen. And y'all, just look at that. Look at that. It is so pretty. I am so like, I don't even wanna post this on my website, but I wanna let it go. It, it has to go to a good home and I want to let it go. So it is so, beautiful i am so happy with it so you guys please recreate if you find inspiration from this tutorial please recreate something like this for yourselves and please tag me in the in the um in your pictures and your recreations so that we all can share you know how you create this same tumbler as well so if you have any questions pertaining to how this did this tumbler please post those questions in the comments below and i would gladly get back to you as soon as possible so with, the, with all of my videos, once again, you know, February is the month of love. So I thought that this quote would be very fitting for today's video. So the quote for today's video is, 
do all things with love and that's what I try to do every day when I come in this craft room I just try to get inspiration and just do everything what I do with love and just you know just find peace in in what I'm doing right now so if I have it not mentioned before I am a fully retired logistics officer I did 21 years in the military so this is what I do um, all day long y'all it is just so much fun and I find so much inspiration every day when I get up just being a stay-at-home mom a wife a mother it is just so much fun for me so you guys just share away and if you have not joined my newly created Facebook group please 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 consider joining that group we're gonna we are it is small right now but hey it is gonna grow like all things with God so we are gonna grow that group so just please consider joining and as always if you have not if you're a new viewer if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel as well and then please don't forget to click that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future content so you guys until the next video you guys stay blessed and i will see you all soon all right see you later again if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you on board and also please don't forget to click that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future content stay blessed until the next one